we are starting uh, another uh, engineering work today. Uh, this is AB frame plus twelve TG. That's come for major state rewinding. Uh, we went to the site, and then <coughs> you can see that the state windings have burnt. It's, it's right there, so it's burnt. After all, the like, inspection of the site, it's been dispatched for repair. And, uh, we have already the, the proud part of this. The DJ is uh, this belongs to the Raj Bhavan, where the governor. Just recording so that we have the documentary for the initial state of the windings. We'll do a major this has movement and then the windings will proceed. So this is the part that's burnt. It's burnt. Maybe it's not clear from the video, but yeah, it's burnt. Okay, we are disassembled the uh, generator right now, and then you can see this is the area where it's burnt. The winding guard or the fan guard, the starch, right? So, as such, the winding O-ring, probably it's the last phase of the O-ring that's pre placed. Fine. So, I have the entire team which is making a lot of noise. <laughs> They're excited right now, fine. <clears throat> So a thousand kV windings, how it would be, is what you're probably seeing. It's, it's split into three, four stacks of the core, four stacks of the core with air ducts around. And then you can see the o rank This is how it's burnt right now. And the massive rotor, you can see here, four bricks. This is how it is right now. Rotor seems to be fine, no problems with the rotor so far. Bearing is a power, we have faulty bearing and that, that needs to be replaced and then we have a giant coupling that needs to be removed, God knows how to go on. The bearings have to be replaced, that's one part of it. Then here is our uh, next work, we have to dismantle the windings. Then let's see, it's standard four parallel is all I guess. So we have four conductors coming up, this is neutral point. the connection side that's done so this is how it would be a thousand kV alternator okay, so this coil this uh, generator has got 11 parallel and the coils uh, merge here to the tension plate and I'm going to pull it all the way down to my coil here so this is how the coil is being formed right now I know it's clearing but how to see? So this is all the coils is getting formed right now. So we have four coils in series. Each coil is about uh, four tons. So I'm done with two sets. So you can see the counter is uh, eight tons. And then we're gonna go to the third set right now. is going on and we also have paper cutting right now going on full screen and I'm sure we are currently with the uh, speed open yes, uh, we do all our rewindings the major ones and the road was has to go through all the cleaning all those things and here is the status. So the coil of the farmer seems to be pretty fine. Uh, slot papers are inserted. Then we're proceeding with full swing of uh, placing the coils. A uh, few set of coils are ready. Six, seven sets of coils are ready right now. Yeah? And they'll get placed uh, into the stator. So that's the entire winding process that's, that's done so far.
Yeah, the winding is in full swing. Uh, you can see that most of the cars are inserted. We have another two sets of cars. Uh, so right now you can see it's a pitch of one to nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we've gone for diamond shaped coils. That's one of the most preferred for high quality uh, quality that we use in the industry currently. So the air gaps that you can see are pretty clean and they come in the 45 degrees angle. That's what is really important. They should not come close to the core. From the core they exit in a straight line. Once they exit in a straight line, the insulation here is very perfect. Then it comes out of the core, then it takes a 45 degrees turn. Then again it takes another 90 degrees angle here. So then goes back to the same core. So this is what happens here with the diamond shape car. So that's the most preferred one for high quality. And we maintain that here. Yeah. And center papers are pretty clean. Then we have standard uh, sleeves, thread edge cloth sleeves uh, that we use here. And from that side, let's see. Same here. So you can see diamond shape. The orange seems to be going fine. And we are using a 15 mil separator. And then it looks like we have to put uh, another set of separators in between the cards. Uh, it's a four parallel connection. Uh, you can see the spigot insulation that we provided. This is very important. Uh, the spigot insulation ensures that the coil that bends in the corner does not touch the body. So it does not get uh, ground or insula insulation does, does not get ground in the corner. So that's the part of it. So this is in full swing right now. So what that's going on. So the rotor went through a major breakthrough today. The coupling came out. Uh, we had to do a lot of circuits to get the coupling out. You can still see it's really warm. It's hot. It's hot. It had to be heated to close to around 400 degrees to pull it out. So that seems to be out. The is going off. Let's say it's out of hot. So this is the bearing that needs to be pulled out now. The bearing is going out. Is gone. So that needs to be replaced. So that's going to be next work. So that's what the current state of the car is right now. Yeah. We are done with uh, the overall winding. <coughs> Currently it's uh, being subjected for overall testing. Um, so we are done already the polarity testing. So we could get the north pole here and then after a single phase of distance, 120 degree of displacement, we could get the next phase of U and then the third phase is here. So there is a 120 degree displacement. And this is how the winding has come right now. It's come pretty well. So as I said, we took the diamond shape for it. And then the <coughs> what are the kind of testings we'll do? Like so we'll take a mega test. Uh, we'll take it at 2.5 kilo volts. Then we'll take a uh, micro motor, uh, micro uh, milliohms, uh, micrometer resistance testing. Then I have impulse testing. Then I have HP testing. So these are the four different kinds of testing to ensure the quality. So these are the testings I'll be doing now. So let's see. So this is uh, the first phase. Uh, you could see it's 7.3 milliohms. So that's the resistance you're getting now. That's for one phase. We'll go to the next phase. So you could see it's 7.3. Next phase. You can see it's 7.31. So all the three phases are equally balanced. And that's how the uh, micrometer uh, resistance. Yeah, I'm doing a search testing right now. So you can see all the terminals are connected to my bus car. And the voltage seems to be slowly raising up here. Yeah. So it's slipping up. So we are set 2800 uh, volts. So it's creating a big voltage. It's sustaining so far. So 1800 volts is what we have tested. So that seems to be the unit plus for us. So that's a nice indication so far. Overall, uh, so all the testing seems to be passed. The next is we'll put this particular winding to the oven. It's just right there. So we'll put it to the oven and then we'll take it to 
baking and uh, armor ironing varnishing dipping then finally close it and dispatch it to the site so finally it has come pretty well now no issues so far so you can see door and bindings at least i like it the way it's come up right now okay. so it's a, it's a wonderful job so far so join right now so that's the indication saying that you could be have equal number of turns between the neutral and the faces three different faces so we'll next go to the high volt testing yeah we have reached a stage of uh, assembly and then most of the assembly is completed we had to replace both the bearings uh, as the bearings were worn out and this is how the winding looks right now the state is what we did and we replaced the RR unit uh, providing a T5 and the bearings are and the whole bearing shark here they were worn out they were, they were worn out then we had to get the fan bearings so we have put the fan bearings the system is assembled it's it's quite difficult to rotate the fan so it will go through a round of painting uh, uh, paints are ready then once the painting is done this is ready for dispatch right now the terminals and the lugs that we bought out this is how it looks right now uh, it's all come pretty well so it's all good i'm at least satisfied with the varnishing quality we generally test it we expect the windings to be hard so this is hard quite hard right now so this is how it has to be uh, the stiffness brings in the mechanical strength for the o rings right so it should not vibrate so that's one of the purpose of varnishing so that it's stiff and it does not vibrate when there is when it's under load and uh, i could also see that the the core matches the rotor and the state of core are matching so the assembly seems to be pretty fine good um, so all the work so far done is really good and satisfactory